It's really pretty. Okay. All right. General reading for Gab. What's going on with Gab right now? It is. It is gorgeous. What's going on with Gab? Recent, past, present, and soon to be future. Or upcoming future. <laughs> what? What am I saying? All right, Gab. What's going on with you recently? Oh, a card fell out. The Queen of Schwartz. Queen of Schwartz. Let's go read about it. Yes, I've got lovely baskets of rocks. Here, I'll turn the camera slowly so I don't give anybody um, you know, motion sickness. Box, basket, and basket. Two baskets. Two baskets in a box. I never have too many rocks, right? Never too many. No, I've royally messed this up. Okay. Queen of Schwartz. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, thank you for the subscription, Lauren. Lauren Marie. All right, Queen of Schwartz, here we go. Feminine energy of protection, fairness, and balance when making decisions, speaking the truth is held within the Queen of Swords. Speaking the truth, decisiveness, and honesty. So in a general reading, the Queen of Swords can represent an actual person who embodies these characteristics, including yourself, which I think it is. Or the energetic presence of intellect and wisdom in your life, particularly as it relates to decision making. This card asks you to approach complex situations by formulating a logical response instead of an emotional reaction. Use your intuition to guide you to who or what this card represents in your own life. So when I was explaining what the card is, the things that stuck out to me was the speaking the truth part. Speaking the truth when making decisions. And I feel like, you know, I've been reading for you for a long time. And you always get these, like, really strongly feminine, like, powerfully feminine, authoritative kind of cards come through for you. And what I'm feeling right now is that you feel like you're not so much feeling that right now. Like, I feel like there's something's happened where you've been questioning yourself and you're not feeling up to your usual prowess. So I think this card is coming through to help remind you of how wonderful and awesome and amazing you are and that you are the Queen of Swords and that you can be decisive and listen to your intuition and put your emotion to the side sometimes. Um, because if you're trying to make a decision and speak the truth, you're more than capable of doing that. You might just have forgot how to do it. So you need to get back on it. And I feel like we should pull one more card for you. I want to do an Oracle card. And I've been going back and forth about which kind. But I think I gotta go with the Moonology again. Maybe because it's the new moon. And I have my moon earrings on. The Moonology wants to be read. Okay. So let's get a little clarifier or some more bit of information that might be helpful for Gab right now. That's something else that could be helpful for Gab this evening and her decision making and getting feeling back up to her usual awesomeness. Something wants to come out, but it's just not. <laughs> come on, card. You can do it. I keep seeing this one over and over and over again. Okay. 
I keep seeing this color out of the corner of my eye and it's not falling out or anything, but I saw it about three or four times. So we're going to pull this one out and it is the last quarter moon in Aries, which we're entering Aries season. It's work through your feelings. Well, if that doesn't just fit the queen of swords, because the queen of swords is saying, um, your feelings might be deceiving you at this moment. So you need to rely a little bit more on your logic and your intuition. So let's see what this card has to say about that. Oh, hello, another Anna. We got two Annas and two Maries this evening. Thank you for the follow. Last quarter moon in Aries, work through your feelings. Someone has had their feelings hurt. Maybe it's you. I feel like you've been let down recently. That's me talking, not the book. Deal with this upset, especially, but not only, if it's on the home front. Whatever is going on right now will go better if you take steps to make sure that no one is feeling like they've been emotionally run over. If you feel like your feelings have been trampled on, it's time to work through them and clear them. Then you can move towards your goals. It's hard to manifest your hurt feelings. It's hard to manifest when your hurt feelings are in the way. Relationship shit, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I almost said a bad word. Relationships, especially with family and or the people you live with, are extra charged now. If, you f if someone is riding roughshod over your feelings, don't sulk. When someone upsets you, it's easy to wear your hurt like a badge of honor, but that merely perpetrates, per, 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 no, perpetuates the situation. So I do. I feel like you have been feeling emotionally hurt and run over and questioning yourself. Um, so work through it. And, and move it along and, and get out of that sulkiness so that you can go back to being your normal, awesome, wonderful self and being able to speak your truth. Because you're the Queen of Schwartz. The Queen of Schwartz. Okay. Let's write it down. Queen of Swords. And work through your feelings so yes you've been disappointed and let down so you gotta get get through the negative feelings get through the negative and and be reminded of your awesomeness. Uh, look at things from a logical perspective and not an emotional perspective. Look logically. Logically. I probably didn't spell that right. Um, and speak your truth. Speak your truth. All right. Hello, Serenity of the Soul. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. I have and I will work through it. Okay, good. Good, Gab. I'm so glad you're here. You're welcome. It was nice to see you again. Nice to see you and do another reading for you. All right. Let's see who's next. Oh, I should probably remove remove 